This camera is radioactive. And the reason why it's radioactive is because it makes it take better photographs. But the radioactivity has nothing to do with why it takes better photographs. It's the element that is responsible for that radioactivity, which makes the photographs way better. It's an element known as thorium. So join me as we explore why thorium makes this camera take better photos, but also why that thorium ends up ruining the photos in the end. I've been collecting radioactive household items for a few years now, and I've shown a few of them on this channel, such as my most popular radioactive item, the Fiestaware plate, which contains uranium, which gives it that bright orange beautiful color that is synonymous with radioactive Fiestaware. But I've been looking for one item in particular that always seems to slip my grasp, the radioactive camera. Now I've done radioactive photography. That's quite easy. Just use a little bit of uranium, a little bit of toner, and you're all good to go to produce photos. But this camera, I've been having trouble finding it. I've been scouring and scouring antique malls, but have came up empty-handed until one day, I saw this camera sitting on a shelf, and I knew it was the one. Now the reason why thorium was added to this camera is a simple one. It makes it better. By adding thorium dioxide to the glass of this lens, it increases the reflective index of it. And that reflective index helps bend light. And in cameras, a bending light is very important because you're taking in all this light from the outside and focusing it onto your film, which then needs to impose that image. And by having this high refractive index, you're able to take that light in and concentrate it without causing it to become blurry and distorted making a nice, beautiful photograph. The th idea was great, but the application of thorium also included a few problems. First of which, it's radioactive, which is the whole reason why I have this item. By adding in thorium dioxide, you're adding in a naturally occurring radioactive material. Naturally occurring radioactive materials are all around us, and thorium is one of the most common. It's more common than uranium, and uranium is more, more common than actually silver. So it's pretty interesting to think about that. Thorium is all around us, but by concentrating it and putting it into the lens, we get a radioactive item. This then leads into the second problem. The second problem is the radioactivity itself. By making something radioactive that's a clear optic, you run into this issue of the optic being damaged due to the radiation you get an effect known as color centers, or F centers. This is where a free electron is found within the crystal lattice of a structure. When high activity radiation or low activity radiation for a long period of time interacts with a crystal structure, it causes it to become damaged through these formation of F centers. When the radiation interacts with a crystal structure, it'll bump one of the ions out, messing it up and leaving a free electron. And in a crystal structure, if it's not one homogeneous material all the way through, then you get color. Color occurs from damaging of the crystal structure in a clear material. We can see this through another nuclear item that I collected, the atomic marble. The atomic marble started off as a clear object, but through high amounts of radiation, these F centers were formed. And if you look at the camera, we see that the lens is starting to turn brown due to the formation of these F centers. Another place that we can see these color centers form is rocks. A lot of rocks will change color due to being bombarded with these radioactive materials. Because they're naturally occurring radioactive materials, they're found in our Earth's crust, mixed in with the rocks that are forming. My favorite colored rock that gets its color from radiation is amethyst. Amethyst is just regular old quartz, but with the inclusion of a metal oxide. This metal oxide, when interacted with radiation, 
it turns it to this nice purple color. There's many minerals that do this, such as aquamarine and even smoky quartz. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you have any comments or questions, post those in the comments section below. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. And if you need a little bit more of a push to subscribe, you might want to see what my next video to come out is. It's going to be a nuclear consumer good, but we're going to flip it up a bit. I'm going to be making the nuclear consumer good. If you consider yourself a scientific individual, you might want to check out my science discord server. We talk about a wide variety of topics from chemistry to nuclear chemistry to organic chemistry. You name it, we got it over there. And they help me come up with what my next video is. So if you want input on what I post, then go over there. I'll be over there waiting for you. I don't know, but I've been told uranium ore is worth more than gold. I sold my cad, I bought me a Jeep, I got that bug, and I can't sleep. Uranium fever has gone and got me down.